You've probably noticed it in the supermarket. A neat row of pristine white eggs right beside a rustic-looking carton of brown eggs. And chances are, you've also noticed the price tag. Brown eggs often cost more, and somewhere along the way, someone probably told you they're healthier or more natural. But is that actually true? Or is it just another food myth that's been passed down like the idea that carrots help you see in the dark? Today, we're going to crack open the truth and see what really separates a brown egg from a white egg. Spoiler, it's probably not what you think. So let's break it all down, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, the difference between brown and white eggs comes down to something incredibly simple. The breed of the chicken. White feathered chickens with white earlobes typically lay white eggs. Chickens with red or brown feathers and red earlobes usually lay brown eggs. That's it. It's not about nutrition, quality, or even how the chickens are fed. It's literally chicken genetics at work. And no. There's no magical flavor-enhancing gene in brown-feathered hens. The shell color is purely a biological byproduct. This also means that there are other shell colors out there, like blue and green, laid by certain breeds such as the Arocana or Americana chickens. But for most people shopping at the grocery store, the choice usually comes down to the common brown or white. So, if brown and white eggs are nutritionally the same, why do brown eggs often cost more? The reason isn't because they're premium, but because the hens that lay brown eggs tend to be larger breeds. Bigger chickens eat more feed, and that higher cost trickles down to the consumer. In short, you're not paying for better eggs. You're paying for a chicken with a bigger appetite. There's also a bit of marketing magic at play. Brown eggs have been branded as the more natural or organic option, which makes them more appealing to shoppers who associate rustic, earthy tones with healthier food. It's clever packaging psychology. We've been conditioned to think that a loaf of bread wrapped in brown paper feels artisanal, and the same thinking spills over into eggs. Scientifically speaking, a brown egg and a white egg have almost identical nutritional content. Both have about 70 calories, 6 grams of protein, 5 grams of fat, and plenty of vitamins and minerals such as vitamin D, vitamin B12, and selenium. The shell color doesn't influence these numbers one bit. The only real nutritional differences happen when you change the chicken's diet, not its feather color. For example, free-range or omega-3 enriched eggs can have slightly higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E. But that can apply to both brown and white eggs if the hens are fed the same enriched diet. So when it comes to health benefits, don't judge the egg by its shell. Some people swear they can taste the difference between brown and white eggs, but blind taste tests often prove otherwise. The flavor is more influenced by freshness and diet than shell color. A farm-fresh egg, whether brown or white, will generally have a richer taste and more vibrant yolk compared to a weeks-old supermarket egg. If you've noticed that farm eggs often seem better, it's probably because they're fresher not because they're brown. The yolk color, too, has nothing to do with shell color. It's tied to the hen's feed. Chickens that eat a diet rich in yellow-orange pigments like marigold petals or certain grains produce deeper colored yolks. Another common belief is that brown eggs have thicker shells, making them stronger. While it's true that shell thickness can vary, it's actually more about the age of the hen. Younger hens tend to lay eggs with thicker shells, while older hens produce thinner shells. So you might get a sturdy white egg from a young hen, 
or a fragile brown egg from an older one. Shell color has nothing to do with it. Brown eggs often come from breeds that are raised in smaller farms or free-range environments, especially in Western countries. This adds to the perception that they're more natural or organic. However, this isn't a rule. Large-scale commercial farms can raise brown egg-laying hens in the same way they raise white egg layers. Similarly, you can find white eggs from free-range farms. The farming method matters far more for egg quality and taste than the shell color. While white and brown are the supermarket staples, there's an entire rainbow of eggs out there. Some breeds lay pale pink eggs, speckled eggs, or even dark chocolate brown ones. Shell color is determined by pigments deposited during egg formation. For example, brown shells get their color from a pigment called protoporphyrin, which comes from hemoglobin in the chicken's blood. Blue shells, on the other hand, get their hue from boliverdin, a pigment found in bile. It's like nature's own Easter egg dyeing station. When it comes down to it, choosing between brown and white eggs should be about personal preference, budget, and farming practices, not shell color myths. If you want the freshest eggs, look for a local source regardless of color. If animal welfare is important to you, check for labels like pasture-raised or certified humane. And if you just like the look of a brown egg in your breakfast photo, go for it but know that you're not necessarily getting more nutrition for the extra money. The brown versus white egg debate has been scrambled with myths for years. The truth is that shell color is a matter of chicken genetics, not quality, nutrition, or taste. The real differences come from how the hens are raised and what they're fed. So next time you're standing in the egg aisle, you can make your choice with confidence and maybe even share your newfound egg expertise with the person next to you. After all, it's nice to finally put this breakfast table debate to rest, one cracked shell at a time. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.